two days worth of beard growth, and we're going to shave it off with farmhouse shave soap from American Vintage Soap Company. This is their tallow-based shave soap. My thanks to Robert and everyone at American Vintage Soap Company for very kindly sending this one along to the channel and allowing me to share with all the viewers out there. And that's coming up next. <music> Hi, YouTubers and WhatsAppers everywhere. It's MarketGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional Let's Shave. We have a brand new shave soap in the Shave Den and also another brand new item. Both of these from American Vintage Soap Company. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is once again from American Vintage Soap Company. This is their farmhouse shave shave soap. This is their tallow-based shave soap. Boy, I'm looking forward to using this. And this is in their classic shave soap scent right there. Boy, we'll remind you of the scent notes of their classic shave soaps right there on the bottom of the screen. Now, again, this is their new tallow-based shave soap. Oh, that's a wonderful, wonderful scent. It's a three-inch puck, and it comes wrapped up in this checkerboard wrapper. Really, really neat. One side is rather smooth, one side is rather, well, but we could say, you could say the top is smooth and the bottom is rough, or vice versa. But again, one side is smooth, the other side is a little rougher. And that comes uh, into being uh, somewhat functional because we also picked up, now, before I go any further, Robert and the folks at American Vintage Soap Company very kindly sent the shave soap to the channel. Robert, Thank you very, very much. Looking forward to using it and reviewing it right now. Uh, so again, they very kindly set the shave soap. But I was on their website and they offer a really neat item that pairs up well with the shave soap. And that's their ramekin right here. How about that? This is made by uh, Akopa, Akopa Stoneware. So this is a stoneware ramekin right here. And this puck fits in there very very nicely now you have one or two options you could put the rough side down so it grabs a little bit or you could put the smooth side down and then uh, you'll get maybe a little bit better of a brush load the first couple of times out with that rough side the uneven texture that sort of thing so entirely up to you how you want to do it we're going to put rough side down like that so we get a little more grab and look at that doesn't that fit nicely look at that absolutely fits beautifully there and again, a wonderful classic barbershop-like scent from this shave soap. Oh, I'm really looking forward to uh, using this and reviewing it right now on the channel. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to put some hot water on top of this, and we're going to do a brush load. My brush is going to be the uh, Timeless Razor uh, shave brush with their adjustable brush handle. And I've got my, I believe this is the Golden Nib. Is that what this is right here? Yeah, this is my Golden Nib 22 millimeter uh, synthetic knot in there. And I'm using a 22 millimeter knot because a little bit smaller diameter. I want to get that brush in there a little more easily. Now, the other day I had a shave with their uh, final shave soap. I used, uh, let me just remind myself, yeah, I use their Omega Shave Soap. This scent is similar, very, very close in the ballpark of their classic Shave Soap. And I wanted to have a shave with this again and remind me of its performance, which is what I did so I can kind of compare and contrast to the uh, tallow-based uh, Shave Soap that they offer. This is a uh, natural Shave Soap. Uh, I guess you could say non-tallow natural Shave Soap. And of course, we have two scents here to shave them, the Omega Shave Scent which is a very, very nice scent. And the Alpha, the Alpha has that uh, cinnamon bark in there. Boy, oh boy. Oh, that's, mar <laughs> that's marvelous. Very, very distinct. Both of these are great, great scents. But again, we went with the Omega because it was closer or in the ballpark, similar to the classic scent. Let me just set these aside. What we're going to do is I'm going to put some hot water on top of this puck, much like I did with the uh, final shave soap. And again, I used the, um, the Alpha. 
Now I used the Alpha. I put some hot water in here and then I did a brush load from here. And that's what we're going to do with the ramekin. And then I went ahead and I used my Paul Gruner lathering bowl to build that lather with the uh, Alpha shave soap uh, in the uh, final shave soap formula. We're going to do the same thing with this uh, shave soap, the farmhouse shave soap. Going to load the brush and then we're going to build a lather here. And uh, that's how we're going to have our shave. Uh, so we're going to get that all together. I'm going to do my pre-shave wash. No pre-shave lather. Do a pre-shave wash. And then we'll get the shave underway. We'll build a lather and that sort of thing. So hang in there with me. I'll see you on the other side where we'll build the lather and get the shave underway. Okay, I've just done my pre-shave wash. We're going to build a lather now. So let me take this hot water that I have on top of the soap puck here in the ramekin. And I'm going to dump that into the sink. Here is my Paul Gruner uh, lathering bowl. Thanks again to Jimmy V. Thank you very much, Jimmy. We're going to dump that into the um, sink. Here's my timeless razor shaving brush with that wonderful adjustable shave brush handle. And we're going to go ahead and uh, load this. And boy, that's loading nicely. And I'm glad I put the uh, rougher texture down because um, even though that's spinning around a little bit, it's not spinning as much as I think the smooth side would be spinning. And I think it's going to adhere a little more uh, after uh, repeated use. So we're going to go ahead and load that. That's loading up nicely. I'm just going to put a little more water on that brush knot. I think I wrung out a little too much. I want to get a nice cream building on the inner diameter of this ramekin. And again, you could probably just load your brush from here and do a face lather. And I think that's the beauty of having the soap puck in the ramekin. So if you're a face lather, this is a really good uh, way to do it. And by the way, this only costs $7 plus shipping. Now shipping for me was $10, and I guess that's based on my location in relation to where they're shipping from. You probably want to check shipping charges for yourself, but $7 for this was a really nice price point. Now I am doing, I'm not doing a cold water shave, I am doing a, a hot water or a warm water uh, shave, and I want to thank uh, Daniel Sarter of Daniel Sarter Plumbing for fixing my hot water tank. I will put his contact information in the description below. If you live in the Northeast Ohio area and you need a plumber, he did an absolutely spectacular job. He is, I have used him before. He is really, really good, a very, very gifted plumber. So definitely give Daniel a call uh, for all your plumbing needs. He did a great job. So yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> I was very happy about that. So, uh, yeah, so I have some nice hot water, thanks to Daniel Sarter of Daniel Sarter Plumbing. Now, we're going to get this uh, ladder going here, and I got a nice brush load, and it looks like you can see that right there. Okay, so the brush was a little dry, but that's okay. This is my first time out. I'm going to give it a little more water here, and I'll be able to kind of contrast this with their all-natural shave soap, the final shaving soap, they like to call it. And again, it's, it's available in about four or five different scent profiles. We'll put those on the screen so you can see the different scent profiles that they offer in both the farmhouse and also the final uh, shave soaps. And I just heard that tone drop a little bit. That's kind of neat. That means I'm getting going on the lather here. But I am going to put a little more water in that brush. Oh, that's a nice scent. That's got a really nice classic barbershop-like scent to it. That's the way I describe it. And of course, they have a barber pole uh, logo on the label. So, yeah, that's <laughs> that's rather cute that it's a barbershop type of scent. And it's terrific. And we're getting a great lather here. Look at this. Look at this lather we're getting. My God, my gosh. This is great. Now, we're going to try to compare this to uh, their other formula and uh, give you an idea what the difference is, especially if you have used their uh, all-natural shave soap. This is really terrific. Wow, look at that. That's marvelous. I, you know what? I think we're there. Boom! Lather! <laughs> Check that out. We're going to go ahead and paint that on. That's nice. That is really, really very, very nice. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's got some nice, you know, it's... It is, uh, again, it's tallow-based, and I don't think it's any, it doesn't feel, initially, it doesn't feel any heavier uh, in the body, uh, weight-wise, so to speak, 
than the natural. I think the natural might be a little lighter now that I'm painting this on. Yeah, I think the natural does have a little less weight to the body of the lather. I think this, this lather has a little more weight to it, but not by much, to be perfectly honest with you. They're pretty darn close. But, uh, yeah, this has some nice, nice density. And look at what we got here in the way of a peak. Look at that. That's really, that's really terrific. I got plenty in the bowl and plenty on the brush. So we whipped up quite a bit. And look, it, it painted on very, very quickly. And it really did whip up nicely. Uh, I had to add a little bit of water. But again, first time out with it. Because when you're using a new shave soap or shave cream, you probably want to start with a little less water your first time out in order to make sure you're not, you know, drowning the soap in too much water, that sort of thing. My razor is going to be my uh, Carve Overlander. Boy, my thanks to Fernie Beck for passing this one along to the channel. This is a marvelous razor. And the reason why, reason why we're using it is because it has a great vintage look to it. And of course, I'm using a shave soap from American Vintage, American Vintage Shave Soap Company. So that's what we're using there. And we're going to use a, uh, this is what we used for the uh, the other shave, the other uh, American Vintage Shave Soap shave. Uh, all this stuff is identical to that other shave a, a day or so ago. We're going to use a Super Iridium Razor Blade. These came from Beth Jones. Thank you again very, very much, Beth. These are terrific. And let me just pull that out and open that up a little bit. And I'll set it aside. Uh, let me see here. Where is it? This is always... Okay, there it is. Okay, there is the... <laughs> it is single wrap, but boy, this is a, this is a terrific blade. I'm just going to set that down there like that. And let me open up my razor. Boy, I love this razor. This is a beautiful, beautiful razor. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, and we'll just set the handle down there like that. And we will get this blade. Here, let me get the get the blade out. Okay, let me make sure you can see that label, Super Iridium, right there. Okay. Okay, we're going to put that in the cap like that. And we're going to get the... The base plate right here and just lay that on top boy that's terrific and then let me uh you know what let me let me just get that post like that let me hold it like this everything is lined up the tabs and the tabs went into the slots and the blade is correctly seated inside the razor head i can feel that and just by looking visual inspection we'll be able to see that oh yeah the blade balance and alignment is just absolutely perfect Really, really wonderful. And the end tabs of the razor blade are enclosed in the razor head. Beautiful, beautiful three-piece razor. These are marvelous, magnificent razors. Now, we went through a little bit of uh, discussion there in loading the blade. Wanted to show you how nicely this lather has held up. Very, very stable. It hasn't broken down at all. So we're going to go ahead and heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. Again, two days worth of beard growth. And let's see how this how this does now my previous shave with the final shave soap i only had one day's worth of beard growth so maybe not a really fair apples to apples comparison but let's see how this does with the uh with the tallow formula all right here we go 30 degrees a light touch let the razor do all the work gentlemen Really nice, really nice glide. Very nice slickness and nice glide. Good cushion. Boy, coming down to the bottom of the deck. Uh, there's a lot of nice protection there to where it's not biting on that th at the end of that stroke. Uh, really, really terrific. Great, great glide with this. Like it a lot. Chin area very nicely cleaned up on that first pass.
on the first pass. <laughs> Not quite done. Very nice. Really, really nice. Okay. First pass done. Let's rinse. All right. That first pass was very, very good. Even with two days worth of beard growth, I am very, very close to be social, in socially acceptable shave territory. I think I could run out the door right now. Yeah, I probably got a good, I would say, 70 to 75 percent uh, on the upper lip and uh, that sort of thing. But some nice protection there. Again, two days worth of beard growth. The one thing I really like about this shave soap is that it gave me a lot of nice coverage uh, for you know, having two days worth of beard growth. That was great. All the whiskers were nicely covered and protected and saturated in lather. That was uh, that very, very good quality. All right, let's go ahead and lather up uh, for pass number two. We got some extra water on the face and we'll see how the lather performs with that little bit of extra lather. Look how that came off. I got <laughs> a lot of lather here, just kind of, you know, exploding off the brush there. My goodness. And again, the density and the weight of this is somewhat close to the uh, the final shaving soaps, uh, lather, uh, density, body weight. Uh, very, they're very, very close. Uh, I, I, it's kind of a coin toss, to be honest with you. But I think it's, I think maybe there might be just, just maybe a little more uh, weight and body to this ladder. Maybe a little more. Uh, but again, it's very, very, it's a very, very close call. Although I do feel that there is a bit of a difference. Uh, well, you know what? We'll talk about it when we, when we get to the end of the shave. Uh, it's, let me, let me put it this way. You can tell that both shave soaps are made by American Vintage Shave Soap Company. There are some similarities and there are some slight differences. That's the way I'm reading it right now. Again, I'm going to have to have a few more shaves with this particular shave soap, the Farmhouse Shave Soap, because I've had uh, several more shaves with their final shave soap. So uh, there might be a little bit of a bias due to um, more uses of the other shave soap formula. All right, we're going to go with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Let me make sure that's all snug up. It is. Terrific scent. Boy, it's a wonderful glide on this side of the face coming this way with the razor. That's really nice. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's really cleaning up the the upper lip and underneath the nostrils very nicely. There's some nice residual slipness to allow me to get up here and get those little bits out of there. Really wonderful residual slickness there. Really, really terrific. All right, uh, second pass done. Let's rinse. The shave is done, and I'm on my way to BBS. No kidding. And that residual slickness allowed me to go up underneath the nostrils and get all those little bits without having to re-lather. That's really nice. Very, very good. I almost 
grab some more off of the brush to go up there and do a little touch up, but there was enough residual slickness to where I didn't need to. That's terrific. We're going to do my uh, two final rinses, one warm, one cold, and then I'll see you on the other side for the Allen block. So hang in there with me. Oh, that was very, very refreshing. Really, really wonderful. All right, clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. That was a good shave. That was a really wonderful shave. And I'm glad I used all the same gear from the previous shave so I can compare both shave soaps somewhat equally, even though the previous shave with the final shave soap from American Vintage Soap Company, uh, I only had one day's worth of beard growth. But two days worth of beard growth for this lather, I think, is, is a little bit better because I want to see if that tallow-based formula offers a little more body and density. Uh, yeah, this is going to be BBS. My goodness, that's fantastic. All right, here's my alum block. We're going to go ahead and uh, run this under some cold water and see what kind of feedback we get here. I do not need a third pass. This, this shave is done. This is really, really wonderful. Very, very close. A wonderful, smooth, close shave. All right, here we go. Boy, that's as smooth as ice. No zinging and no stinging. That's marvelous. That really is very, very nice. My goodness. No, st no, no stinging, no zinging. Some nice bracing from the almond block. But even up here, underneath the nostrils, no stinging, no zinging at all. Nothing on the neck. Boy, this was great. This was really a really nice result. And it looks like it's BBS finish as well. Don't try to find the BBS. Let the BBS find you. Here's my dry dock. There's my Allen block. We'll let the room, the air in the room do the rest of the work. Let me show you this ladder. We'll talk a little bit about it right here. Here it is right here. Now I may have splashed a little bit of water in there. So that's why you might have uh, this quality to it. Okay, so that's very, look at that. that's very, very, look, that's very, very good. Look at how creamy that is. Even though I may have splashed a little bit of water in there, look at that. That is, I mean, the, the, the body and is very, very good. The, uh, the density and the body are very similar to the final shave soap. It's a call, it's a coin toss. Your, your miles may vary kind of a call as to which one is a little thicker, uh, has a little more density to it. It's a very, very close call. I would say that this one probably has the slight advantage in that department. Uh, both of them have really, really wonderful slickness. Uh, this one is very, very good. I will say that the, uh, that the tallow formula, uh, when the uh, shave cream, uh, after building the lather and the shave cream was on my face, it felt very, very similar to the, uh, the final shave soap. Although I think there is, uh, a, a slightly more, slightly more creaminess perhaps, and a little more, um, a little more density, a little more, the body, the weight of the body is very, very close to the final shape. So that's what I'm finding out here. But again, I think I need to uh, have um, a couple more shaves with it to really make uh, uh, an ironclad determination. But boy, it's very, very close to their other formula. It's very, very good. I want to say that uh, knowing that it's tallow, it has a slightly uh, different feel on the skin than their natural shave soap. Uh, you know, I, I could be wrong, to be honest with you, but just, you know, just perhaps just having that, knowing that it's a tallow soap, maybe that forms a little bit of a bias in my own mind. I'm not sure, but it's very, very good. We're going to finish up with some uh, Avon Wild Country Aftershave Splash right here, and we're going to... Oh yeah, I'm gonna be generous with that. Yeah, <laughs> I have some. I have some new bottles uh, on the old shelf. Uh, all right, we're gonna use the Jimmy V method and let that air out a little bit, and then slap on nothing but the good stuff. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's marvelous. That really is love wild country. This is a good one to follow up 
with uh, this shave soap scent, classic barbershop kind of scent, uh, and this is definitely in that ballpark. And I also have a little bit of the Wild Country Balm that's been hanging around the shave den, haven't used this in a while. We're only going to use a little bit, because it's kind of warm in here. <laughs> so we'll just put that up there like that. And uh, I'm going to turn on the ceiling fans after this and open up some windows. Because it's not overly hot outside. It's cooling down a little bit. But still, got to gotta air out the house a little bit. Great, great shave. Really, really terrific. I like this shave soap a lot. Again, the uh, uh, it's it has, um, it's a coin toss between body, density, that sort of thing. I think there's a little more creaminess and a little more richness uh, due to the tallow formula. But again, it's very, very close to their, uh, their, uh, the final shaving soap. Uh, really, really very close. Uh, you know what? A blindfold test, uh, you might be hard pressed to really pick them out of the lineup. Although, some of you might be able to do it. There, there seems to be that little bit of extra something in this shave soap that does set it apart. And it's tallow. That's the way I look at it. And uh, it was a, it's a very, very good shaving soap. Again, the lather, the body, the density, very close to what we have with their natural shave soap offering. But there's that little something in there that really makes the difference. Uh, great glide, really wonderful, wonderful, wonderful slickness. And I think that <laughs> is due to the tallow as well. Just a hunch on my part. But uh, really terrific shave. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Smooth, close, comfortable. Uh, two days worth of beard growth gone after two passes. What a shave. Really, really nice. This is great. I am looking forward to using this one again. And uh, again, if you're someone who, who likes using uh, a tallow shave soap, but perhaps you find that the, the the body and the weight might be a little too much, give this one a try because I think they lighten up on that a little bit uh, with still maintaining the great quality of uh, having tallow in their formula. Uh, that's the way it impresses me. Very, very good. I like it a lot. And of course, their ramekin really pairs up nicely with this shave soap. It fits in there perfectly. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, using this again and uh, doing a face lather. That, that'll be the next step in uh, taking the shave soap for a run, uh, taking the shave soap for some test runs, uh, bowl lathering, face lathering, different size brush knots, that sort of thing. So really, really terrific. So my thanks to Robert and everyone at American Vintage Soap Company for very, very kindly sending along uh, Farmhouse Shave Soap in the classic scent profile. Their tallow-based shave soap. I thought it was very, very good. And I think overall, it's very close in performance to their final shave soap, which is their natural shave soap offering. Uh, you know what? Try it out. Try them side by side yourself and let me know what you think in the comments below or for a Monday morning mailbag. So there you go. Again, thanks to Robert and everyone at AVSC for Farmhouse Shave Soap and the Classic Shave Soap scent. And uh, check out the ramekin. It, it pairs up very nicely with their three inch shave soap pucks. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artists and shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, Check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.